Well, if you need further proof that the press is dead in this country, I have got a great story for you. And it's, uh, you know, we, we can't ignore this anymore. Uh, the press are not our friends. They are paid propagandists. And I will show you uh, some very obvious proof of why that is. Uh, yeah, the fourth estate back in the day, they used to try to hold powerful people accountable and do things. But now the, the press, they're, they're owned by just a handful of companies. And uh, they're out there to push an agenda. Here's why the media don't want you to know about the massive protests going on around the globe. And this is if you skim the front pages of the major corporate news outlets, you'll find no mention of the economic protests raging in Spain, Morocco, Greece, the United Kingdom. Democracy dies in darkness. Washington Post. You'll find headlines such as how to deal with a chatty coworker that won't get out of your office. But you won't find mentions of the more than a hundred thousand people protesting in Madrid. You'll find the story of a gay union entitled, Hey, what's two yentas plus one senator? A lifetime together at the New York Times, but you won't see a single headline on the more than 10,000 protesters in Athens. Corporate media has largely glossed over the tens of thousands of farmers in the Netherlands who clogged up roadways and distribution centers by holding Canadian trucker convoys style demonstrations to protest radical climate policies. According to the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, which records protests worldwide, 11 countries are currently seeing protests of more than a thousand people in response to the rising cost of living and economic woes in 2022. So when vaccine passports were being implemented, protests took uh, place around the world, but there was hardly any coverage from the media because you're supposed to be happy about that. You're supposed to embrace it. You're supposed to say, yes, please give me the experimental vaccines, my loving government, because you care so much about us. But you didn't see that. They didn't, they didn't want you to uh, have any kind of second thoughts about that because they're bought and paid for. Well, they got to keep their jobs because if they start uh, actually doing real investigative journalism, they're going to have to uh, go looking for another job. They're going to have to learn to code or something like that. Uh, the only way is to do it uh, independently because it certainly won't be put in uh, the mainstream news outlets coverage. So aside from a scant headline here and there, America's most popular news providers, the WAPO, New York Times, CNN, and NBC did not cover these protests, despite the French and Spanish protests being 10 to 100 times larger than the protests these corporate media giants did report. So of these 11 countries, only four made any major headlines. Uh, oftentimes these only highlights the economic protests when they get so loud they can no longer be ignored. When they're absolutely Absolutely forced to they finally do uh, Kazakhstan Sri Lanka just because there was that you had to see the video coverage of it and just all the tons of people that were you know storming the presidential palace <laughs> So and here's a look at the crowd. July 9th is the most unforgettable day uh, in Sri Lanka's history. Uh, this was uh, pretty breathtaking stuff when uh, people have had enough and finally go after the government and their politicians and probably the media outlets as well. And so they're, they're freaking out about that. They don't want to talk about it because the countries are struggling from economically disastrous policies akin to President Joe Biden's. Leftist media will tell you about Sri Lanka, Kazakhstan, Iran, and Peru, however, but only to bolster its pro-Ukraine, anti-Russian narrative that denies the reality of war, to promote Biden's efforts to empty our pockets and replenish Ukraine's. It's staggering how much money that they've given to Ukraine when they we need it clearly here at home. It's right. It's, it's the, uh, the Putin's price hike. Putin's price hike. They just say that often enough, you'll eventually believe it. Yeah, Somebody's got to talk about I don't want to talk about this stuff. I never want to be a journalist, but uh, since the corporate media has uh, let us down, uh, I guess I'm trying to uh, force myself to, uh, to do their job for them.
Well, you got to leave people in the dark because if they see all this stuff, they're going to start getting angry and they're going to rise up and start retaliating against their own politicians or maybe these uh, these crooked propagandists that do work at these uh, outlets. It's only going to accelerate from here as uh, more inflation, more economic problems, more food shortages, and uh, a lack of good news while they, uh, they censor their uh, opposition. So uh, stay safe out there, my friends, and we'll see you next time.